and I wish I had this advice in my earlier years. I had similar advice, but I wish I had this kind of drilled into me a little bit more, which is if you just focused on upgrading the current version of yourself and not infatuating with the bigger picture. So you firstly, you have a bigger vision of what you want, the type of relationships you want, the income streams you may want to have, the house you want to live in, the body shape you want to look like, all these kind of things, right? So you've got the bigger picture, but all you want to do is focus on upgrading the current version of yourself. That becomes very empowering because what it does is it encourages momentum. You want to build momentum. I don't mean it in a limiting way that don't focus on the bigger picture. Remember, that's the vision. But how do you implement it every single day? Well, you just focus on small daily things that you can do that are congruent with the bigger goal. That, that's literally it. You'll be amazed at how much you achieve if you focus on that. What's going on guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm just on a drive at the moment. I thought I would give you some insights into something I've been thinking about lately that I think will be majorly beneficial to the world right now. Something I've been noticing a lot and a message that I wanna push a lot more. I always find when I'm driving, by the way, I always get a lot of inspiration. Let me know if you resonate with this when you, if you ever go for these kind of night drives where you just get these thoughts and ideas and I just get a lot of clarity. So I always feel like I'm in flow. Um, perfect opportunities for me to, to do videos like this as well. Uh, I recently actually got this car, the Porsche GT3. I've, I'm not taking it out that much, but taking it for a nice drive in the kind of country scene where I live at the moment. It's so nice. What well, is incredible to drive, honestly. Um, being a little bit careful because it has rained and it's a little bit wet. And of course, engine in the back, you need to be careful of this kind of stuff. But the, the point that I want to get to in this message is that I see way too many people kind of looking at their life and they're looking at people way further ahead of them and they're comparing themselves to where those people are and they're not factoring in that that didn't happen overnight and sometimes it's actually quite disempowering for you to start looking at people that you infatuate with whether it be on social media or anything like that and you're thinking about well I'm not there how do I get there and you kind of want to go from you know a Fiesta to a Ferrari nothing wrong with a Fiesta by the way but you get my point the reference you know you want to go from where you are now to just a Ferrari or a Lamborghini overnight but it doesn't happen like that but what you can do is incremental growth and I, I don't think enough people value what that actually means I talk about this a lot in my videos and if you haven't seen it already definitely go and check out the videos when I talk about things like five daily goals it's in my book this is incremental growth that I'm talking about this is not one hit wonder remember we're looking at volume over intensity so the volume and the compound effect of just even doing three things every single day you will thank yourself in the next two years three years you'll realize how much growth you've actually made just by doing the little things every single day in day out and what we're also seeing at the moment is a lot of procrastination and if you're not self-aware then you won't pick up on it so what do I mean by that well if you just firstly thought about this, and I want you to do this the next time, this will help you out massively. And I wish I had this advice in my earlier years. I had similar advice, but I wish I had this kind of drilled into me a little bit more, which is if you just focused on upgrading the current version of yourself and not infatuating with the bigger picture. So you firstly, you have a bigger vision of what you want, the type of relationships you want, the income streams you may want to have, the house you want to live in, the body shape you want to look like, all these kind of things. Right, so you've got the bigger picture, but all you wanna do is focus on upgrading the current version of yourself. That becomes very empowering because what it does is it encourages momentum. You wanna build momentum. I don't mean it in a limiting way that don't focus on the bigger picture. Remember, that's the vision, but how do you implement it every single day? Well, you just focus on small daily things that you can do that are congruent with the bigger goal. That, that's literally it. You will be amazed at how much you achieve if you focus on that. So that is that part of it. But the one thing that I see that people are procrastinating on is books. Let me know if you're a big book, you're a big book reader, you read a lot of book, you read a lot of books and what book you're reading at the moment. What I learned in the earlier years is that it's much more effective. This is not a matter of right or wrong, by the way. This is just my opinion on my life experiences and how I've obtained my wealth. And what I found is that 
it's been much more effective for me to not read so many books and tons and tons of books where people have these book goals where I want to read a book a month, I want to read a book a day, I want to read two books a month. You know, their goal is to read 24 books a year, but there's been no application. And the problem that I see with that is that it becomes a, a high level of procrastination. And it's almost deceptive that you don't even see it. It's not obvious because you're getting that dopamine hit from, well, I've read that book, tick. Oh, well, let me read another book. So let's say you start on, I don't know, Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy, which is an incredible book, by the way. You read that book and now you're on to Think and Grow Rich. And now you're on to Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Now the richest man in Babylon. You know, it's just book after book after book. And although that may seem good, it's almost like you're just going through the motions without any purpose. So it's been much more effective from my experience to read a book, take my time with it, study it like it's my, like a manuscript, like it's my manual. You need to know it like the back of your, back of your hand. If you ring me in the morning at 2 a.m. and I'm half asleep and you say, right, hello, uh, what's your name? Mark. Well, I know it like that because it's at the back of my hand. You should, you should know these things like that. If you have to think about it for, you know, five minutes then you don't know it you've just read it and you'll forget about it but the whole point of you reading the book is not to escape I'm assuming that you're reading the book because you actually want to develop so next time you read a book get out a pen and paper or write it in a document and start writing down just section it out just literally let's say a book has got 10 chapters I'll give you something practical that you can do let's say it's got 10 chapters just write three key takeaways from each chapter and every single time you read a chapter what I want you to do is you can either do this each chapter by chapter or you can read the whole thing and go through it again and again but the concept is each chapter I want you to write three key takeaways that you took from that chapter and then write a little subsection of what you think that that applies to your current life right now and what you can do to improve your life towards your goals you will be amazed, shocked at how much that will benefit your life and open up your mind of thinking. You will start to see books in a completely different light. Think about it, it's pretty inexpensive that you can go pick up a book for $10, $20, pounds, whatever it may be, it's not that much, and then be able to take that book, download that knowledge, and then be able to apply it. But if you're just constantly downloading and downloading, you're not actually flexing the muscle of being able to apply what you've learned in the first place. So I highly recommend that you do that because if you're just getting the dopamine hit of read another book and then read another book, you'll be three years down the line and you'll be able to tell me about all these books you've read, but you're still nowhere closer to your goals because you've fantasized and infatuated over just reading books for the sake of reading books. Remember, if knowledge was the most powerful thing, then librarians would be the richest. That quote hit me years ago and I was like, do you know what? That makes so much sense. It's not just about having knowledge, it's how do you apply the knowledge? I've actually not read that many books in comparison to what most people have. But what I have done is the books that I have read, I know those books like the back of my hand. And that's the most important thing. That's the biggest life lesson I can give you right now. Go through your books. Most people, they've got books on their shelf. They go out and buy another book. They get excited because they're holding the book, they can't wait to read it, and they've still not read the other book that's on that shelf. So let me know if you resonate if you've done that, because I've been there before, but the moment that changed for me was when I looked at it and thought, let me be resourceful with what I've got. How can I go back over this book that I've already read and look at it again? And the reason why we go over and why a lot of mentors will recommend you to go over books over and over again is because you're not the same person you was a year ago. You're not the same person you was six months ago. You're always evolving. Well, I'm assuming you are if you're coming to this type of channel. You're looking to evolve yourself, take yourself to the next level. Well, in six months from now, you're gonna be a different person. So reading Think and Grow Rich a year from now, you're gonna take away different things because you're at a higher level of consciousness. And what you wanna do is you wanna reach a level where you're unconsciously competent. So what does that mean? Well, you're doing it without even thinking. Just like now, driving the car. I just, I just slowed down for the speed camera. Well, not the speed camera, but for the change in speed. I didn't even think about it. I wasn't looking at the sign. I was just looking at the fact that I need to slow down. And my mind is blueprinting that. So even though I'm, I'm talking on camera, I'm focusing on the road, I'm looking, I'm still going to the speed limit. Why? Because I'm consciously competent. I don't, this is automatic, but even if I had a gear stick, like it would still be the same thing. You know, you don't think about it. You just, you know how to drive now. So you slow down, you slow down for a speed camera. Let me know if you resonate, if you've ever driven home 
and you've been kind of almost daydreaming and thought, and then you've got home and think, did I slow down for that speed camera? You did unconsciously. You're unconsciously competent at what you're doing. That's the level we should all be striving towards, unconscious competence in everything that we're doing. So I wanted to push that message out there for you guys and girls. I just think it'd be huge. It's something practical. You come into the channel, you want practical tips. Well, I'm giving you one now. Go and get a book off your shelf and start applying it. Let me know which one. If you want some commitment for a level of accountability and commitment, let us know in the comments what book you're going to read or you're reading and some key things you've taken from a book already. I would absolutely love to know. And let's get, let's get this motion going. And I want you to share this with people. Let people know because we want to empower people as much as possible. And sometimes it's right under your nose. It's not this big thing that you need to do. You can change your life incrementally. And if I can leave you with that, focusing on you just upgrading the current version of yourself, watch how inspired and empowered you are. So I'm excited to see how this channel goes and for you to take value from this video and if you have to watch it over and over again, come, come to this channel to lean on there. I'm gonna be bringing so many things to empower you guys and girls and take you to that next level. I'm gonna be going deeper into the subconscious mind on a few things as well and be, I'm gonna to start to teach you how to really unwire your brain and start to rewire it. First, we need to understand how we're wired, then we unwire and then we rewire. Remember, what you learned growing up, that's not your fault. You are a, a product of your environment and circumstance. But when you get to a certain age, you have to be self-aware enough to realize, right, this is how I grew up, but this is not gonna be the rest of my life. And how do I rewire some things, take out some things that I don't want, put some things in that are gonna set me up for success. So I wanna do that and help you guys and girls out as much to the best of my ability through my experience. And if you've taken value away from my channel so far, let me know in the comments, I would absolutely love to know. And I thank you for tuning in. Guys and girls, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.